Okay, I want to show you how to you can uh, convert an image to black and white in Lightroom. Uh, first, if you uh, wish to uh, select an image from your library and you are not sure which one will work in black and white and which one will not, you can select all the images uh, in your uh, uh, in your library uh, by pressing Ctrl A and then press the V key to convert them to black and white. And it will take some time. But as you see, it's converting all the images to black and white. And this can help you to, uh, to to sort out the images that will work in black and white. It's a default conversion, and it's not the very best. So I'm not going to use it uh, uh, for my uh, own conversion. Um, I can undo uh, this conversion by pressing the V key again. Okay, and I've selected uh, this image uh, to convert. Okay, we're going to the develop module and we can do this by pressing the D key. And uh, in the develop module you can still use the V to convert to black and white. And you can also use this uh, black and white text here. If you click on it, it will convert. But as I said before, we're going to do it our own way. And that will be by choosing the black and white panel, uh, which gives you control on every color separately. You can just uh, slide the sliders to affect the image. And, and a better way is uh, often to use uh, a black and white mix by pressing this icon. And then you can use your mouse in the photo and drag, click and drag up to make that color lighter and click and drag down to make that color darker. It's an easy way to uh, uh, fine tune your black and white conversion. Before I'm going to do this, I'm uh, going back to my basic panel. And uh, with black and white, you can. Uh, I'll go uh, just a, a little bit further with the with the corrections you usually uh, do. So I can give this quite some extra exposure, some blacks, extra contrast. Let's see, a bit overexposed there. I'm gonna remove it completely, but just a little bit. Okay. This is uh, fine by me. Now we're going back to the black and white panel for some fine tuning. And light up the face a bit. And it's a bit darker. But just uh, do as you like. And always uh, watch the whole image if you're uh, using this tool because it's affecting the other colors. Uh, similar colors as well. Okay, if you're done here, uh, there's still an extra effect you can use, which also works nicely in black and white. It's the uh, vignetting, and just uh, pull the slider a bit back. Sorry, I think this is the conversion I uh, would like for this image. If you uh, wish to see how the image was before, you can. Uh, press the, back, uh, the backslash key and it shows you the before image. So, this is how uh, you can easily convert a photo to black and white.